What is up guys, welcome back. Welcome back to some kind of change of direction. So from a fatigue perspective, again, I'm focusing on the stiff leg. So again, for the reason I've said a lot, the conventional deadlift is a great exercise, but it causes a lot of fatigue for a lot less stimulation. Um, so do the deadlift if you love the deadlift and your goal is to get a good deadlift. If your goal is to build a really thick physique, focus on the stiff leg. And then depending on which session you're performing your pull, will then determine your biases in the movement, in the sense that are you controlling the eccentric because you're trying to focus on glutes or hands, or are you pulling from the floor because you're just trying to go back to moment here I make the decision to just not miss that's a decision that you can make for this set it's got nothing to do with bodybuilding nothing it's got everything to do with a personal victory that you decide whether you're gonna take right now in this moment or not many people won't understand that fuck them people don't have to understand but if this is your passion you'll understand what I mean because this moment here you're not about to do this forever. So fucking enjoy it whilst you can. How does like this exercise compare to a pullover? So let's think about the ability to lengthen the lap, knowing that the lap attaches to the humerus. So if we're in this position here, and then we take our shoulders forward, think about that distance from the base of the spine to the humerus, it's increasing. Now, if I just take my arms back, we actually can't lengthen the lap more so in a pullover. Yeah, there's going to be some tightness sensation and that's created through the shoulder joint. It's not the same thing as lengthening the lap. So in regards to your, your greatest range of motion and your greatest stimulus potential, training the lap in this position here is by far the best, by far. And I would actually argue, really, when you think about it, that a straight overhead pull down 
is probably going to take the humerus further from the lap than a pullover. I don't know that for sure, but in my head, oh sorry, the first bit I know for sure, the straight arm, the overhead pull down compared to the pullover, it's close, about the same. But this is your best lap move. This is why we start with this. My goal to make sure I've kind of hit that full contracted part is to try to get a really strong contraction and then control the eccentric out of that contraction. And so I know, I know then that I need to adjust the resistance profile when it feels like I can't get things fully short and control it out of that point. Come on. Come on. Come on. 